Okay, so 21. I'm not really going to explain too much of the math behind it, but you should recognize that g of 3 minus g of 1 equals the definite integral of f of x from 1 to 3. And since you're looking for g of 1, and they tell you what g of 3 is, and you can calculate the definite integral of 1 to 3 of f of x on a calculator, it, this isn't too bad of a problem. So normally we wouldn't be able to calculate the definite integral of, of f of x from 1 to 3 because if you look at it, f of x equals root x cubed plus 2. And let's say you try to use u substitution, set u equal to x cubed plus 2. You'd notice that when you calculate your du, you'd get du equals 3x squared dx. And, but there is no x squared here outside, right? So you can't do that. And as far as I know, at least for BC students, we shouldn't be able to solve this by hand. But we can with our calculator. So math 9. And then x cubed plus 2. 2.5, right? the square root with respect to x from 1 to 3 and you get 6.58457 but that's not actually what's asking for it's asking for g of 1 but of course if you take g of 3 which they tell you is 5 and you minus 6.58 5, 8, plus round, that equals g of 1. So g of 1 is around negative 1.58458, which is b, and that is the correct answer. So now I've done some, I've done how many problems? I think four definite integral ones. I think I covered a pretty good, pretty broad range of easy to hard, you know, you should be able to do it. The tricky part is, you know, making sure that the format is in a format that the calculator can recognize. You just need to be creative sometimes or be very patient if it says, you know, you can't it doesn't recognize it, you know, maybe you forgot a parenthesis somewhere. But basically you should be able to use uh your TI eighty four to calculate definite integrals now. Okay, thanks.